Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Nandroid backup on your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. I know for a lot of you that's pretty remedial, but some of you guys are new to root. You guys are new to custom recoveries and um, maybe you guys just don't know how to do that. So we're going to do that today and first you need to follow my guide on how to root and install the Clockwork Mod recovery on your phone. I'll include a link to that in the description. Uh, once you have all that accomplished, you'll power down your device. And once you're all powered down, uh, to boot into recovery, you're going to hold volume up. The home button and the power button all at the same time will wait on it. Okay, so volume up, home, and power to boot into recovery. So we're booting into recovery now. This, like I said, is very simple, very easy. You want to have this recovery, I, I'm sorry, you want to have this backup on your phone just in case something bad happens if you're flashing a custom ROM or something like that you'll always have a clean slate to revert to uh, so you'll want to go down to backup and restore it's pretty self-explanatory you're gonna hit the power button to select and then you're gonna go uh, select backup but uh, you'll go to backup to internal SD card because like right now I don't have an external SD card in my phone if you have an external SD card installed you would just go to backup but for me, I'll go to backup to internal SD card. And that's going to start the process. Now, the process takes um, anywhere from, you know, 5 to 15 minutes, just depending on how much you have on your phone uh, whenever you begin the process. So we'll just let this run its course. As soon as it finishes, I will come back to it. Okay, so we're all finished with the backup, and it took literally uh, probably about three minutes. So it didn't take long at all. Um, You'll want to make a backup, like I said, the Nandroid backup, it backs everything. Of it. it backs up all your applications, it backs up like your phone calls, your text messages, everything that's on your system from the time you flash it, the entire system is backed up. Uh, so it gives you a starting place in case you do mess something up. A lot of developers will include in their instructions to uh, make an Android backup just in case you do something wrong. Uh, personally, I never make Nandroid backups. I back up my system when it's stock rooted from the get-go just to have something to go back to just in case. But as far as when going from ROM to ROM, I normally don't make an Android backup. That's a decision that you'll have to make on your own, whether or not you want to have that safety net uh, to go back to your, your ROM. Another thing you can use Nandroid backups for is if you do find a ROM that you like, uh, you can set it all up how you like it and then make an Android backup so that you'll be able to have that ROM and all of its settings backed up in case you try out a new ROM and you don't like it you can always go back to the ROM that you did like. Some people make up backups of their ROMs say they'll you know they'll have three or four ROMs on their SD card and they can go uh, back and forth from ROM to ROM just by restoring the Android. So once you have your Android backed up you can go to backup and restore and to restore it you'll go to restore from internal SD card and then you'll just choose your Android backup. Now you could go in there with a file manager and rename these uh, for now, it just has the date on there, um, the date of when you made the backup. So, guys, that is how to create a Nandroid backup on your Samsung Galaxy S3 in Clockwork Mod Recovery. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for more coverage on this device and other devices, be sure to subscribe right there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave your comments below. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.